Hello everybody and welcome to our phonics workshop. Um, we're doing it virtually this year and I'm going to just tell you a few a bit of information about the phonics scheme that we use in reception um, and how we start the journey of helping them to learn how to read. Um, so in a moment I'm going to share, share a pair of point that we have um, and I'll just talk to you through the different parts um, and the different areas that we cover in reception. OK, so hopefully you can all see my screen. Um, so I'm just like I said before, um, I'm just going to talk to you a bit about um, phonics and phonics and reception. So basically uh, phonics is a program um, which teach, teaches the children the phonetic sounds in words to help them get the confidence to be reading. The program that we use is called Read Write Inc um, and it teaches the children how to read accurately and fluently with good comprehension. They learn to form each letter and spell correctly and compose their ideas step by step. The children are taught a new sound every day and will begin to learn how to segment and blend. In reception, they are taught phonics every day in 30 minute sessions. Um, so we do daily 30 minute sessions with phonics and we use the read write ink scheme, um, which is at the moment a sound a day until they complete the first set, um, which is over four weeks. Um, at the start of the year, they start in whole group sessions and then towards the end of the year, we split into smaller groups, um, more focused work and um, getting them ready to segment and blend. So segmenting and blending is all about the children saying each sound individually and then blending them together to read the word. For example, k at cats, and then they blend it together and that's how they get the fluency to start reading. Um, with Read Write Ink, they have something called Ditty Books. So once we are confident with the sounds after the four weeks, we'll start them with something called Ditty Books. Um, the red Ditty Books are what we start on. And basically it's very simple sentences, which encourages them to practice how to segment and blend and read the sentence in full. We look at all the sounds shown on this screen. We cover them all, we show them the different forms of it and we tell them each sound. We start with the first two sets, um, which is the top two rows, and then later in the year, more towards spring and summer, we look at the bottom two where it goes into the digraphs, A, E, I, O, U, um, those sorts of sounds. So I'll tell you a bit, so we've got the single sounds and then we have something called digraphs. Digraphs is the sounds like shh, the A, the E, the two letters, but one sound. Um, so it's just reminding the children that if they see the two letters together on the um, on the paper, that they have to say it as one sound. We call them special friends, or their technical term are digraphs. We also have somebody called Fred Frog. They might have started mentioning him already. So Fred Frog helps them how to segment and blend. So what, it, what happens is that we put the Fred Frog in our shoulder and then we encourage them to show them their Fred fingers, which means they're just wiggling our fingers, their fingers. And then they each say each sound individually and then they blend them all together. Like I said before, k at, cat, m at, mat. And it helps them with the next step of segmenting and blending. It also helps us teach us the tricky words, the red words, Fred, um, that the words that they can't segment and blend, like I and the. We use the phrase, you can't Fred a red. What you can do at home is just starting first of all with the initial sounds, because we do the initial sounds before we do the segment and blending. So you might point to the fruit ball and say, oh, apple, ah, ah, apple. What sound does apple start with? Ah. And then encourage them when they're reading. Um, obviously, at this time of year, they need a lot of support with reading. But even asking them to see, oh, can you spot the ah sound in the book? Can you spot the t sound in the book? What sound does ball start with? Can you sound the b for ball? Questions like this during learning time, when learning at home, and also during story time are a great way to help the children understand. Reading, reading with them every night, even if they are not reading it themselves, just the vocabulary that they're learning from listening to you read to them is absolutely amazing. Um, when they get uh, more confident with the sounds, we'll start sending um, formation sheets home, which is basically just going to show you how to write the letters with the children. And if you could complete them, they're for you to keep um, at home just to help them practice with them. 
and also just encouraging them to read words around them you know if they see a stop sign or oh, what does that say stop and um, just helping them with that sight reading as well um, but there's also lots of things online and um, there's phonics bloom and um, most of it is free um, and the free stuff is what we use online as well and um, we've got alpha blocks blocks which is brilliant it's a CBC, CBC program really good at segmenting and blending and it's also the tricky word song that you can find both of these you can find on YouTube and basically it gets them used to those red words those tricky red words and you know you can't thread a red um, I hope this has been useful for you and um, if you do have any more questions please let me know um, and I look forward to starting them in their journey ready to start reading lots and lots to you at home. Thank you very much for joining.